the amazing tool using animals in our book are part of an exclusive club. Only a tiny number of species use objects to solve problems and do jobs. So does this mean they're super clever? Well, it sort of depends on the kind of tool use. These chimpanzees in Uganda, for example, have big complex brains. They're able to use tools in a flexible way. They can try out new ways of doing things and see what happens. That's really clever. But this common tailor bird in tropical Asia does something really incredible, but she doesn't have a particularly complex brain. She uses spider silk and plant fibres to stitch together a leafy pouch for her nest. She makes tiny holes around the edges of two leaves with her beak and she pushes the silky thread through the holes to sew the leaves together. And she lines the deep pouch with soft fibres which will protect her eggs and chicks. It's a perfectly camouflaged shelter and it seems like a brilliantly clever idea. But actually the tailor bird's just following the natural instinct of all common tailor birds. They're hardwired to make nests in this way. So her tool use is fixed and inflexible. She can't try out new tricks. Back to these chimps in Uganda who have been busy trying out a new drinking tool. They're dipping chewed up leaves into a water hole to soak up the liquid, which they then squeeze into their mouths. One of the chimps has an idea to use some spongy moss instead. It works brilliantly, so they all have a go. This takes real brain power. They're trying out new materials and learning and adapting to their environment to make the most of what's around them. Clever chimps.